Welcome, everybody, to Pasadena and the majestic Rose Bowl, one of the unique settings in all of sport. This year's Rose Bowl, presented by Prudential, is a crucial part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover, and another team that's battle-tested, already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number eight seed in this playoff, the Clemson Tigers taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Iowa Hawkeyes. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. We'll see which team's gonna be moving on. This line getting set up, it's a first down play. Little eye candy here from the offense, some pre-snap motion. There's the handoff. Finds room at the 30. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. So quickly up to the 35-yard line for first down. Looking for a gap, it's Williams. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. I want to move, goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. And the Hawkeyes have first and ten here. Hand off to the single back. The gain is four, so it's second and six. And empty backfield. Offense spreading the field to five wide. Scanning the field. It's Banks. It's an out route. The catch made. They bring him down, but a big chunky yardage on the play. It's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. From the gun, he looks for an open man. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Chris, that ball gets tipped and goes straight up into the air. That's anybody's ball. The defense does a really good job down in this area expecting the pass. The ball is in the air. The ball gets tipped. Keep in mind, the offense or the defense can get underneath that for a play. The ball hits the ground for an incompletion. The Hawkeyes line it up with first and goal. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Come out in the playoff game, Kirk. No signs of rust for the offense immediately. Yeah, no jitters at all. After the layoff, I wondered how they might be able to come out and communicate and they actually just the, the rhythm to the offense. But they did not hesitate. They set the tone early. Now they got themselves a lead. So the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop them this time. Oh, what a cut. It's still going. Tackle is made, but it's a big game. They'll move the ball to the 25-yard line. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Second down after that previous play. Looking to throw. It's Banks. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Anderson. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. And the Hawkeyes are moving quickly down the field. 
quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. Now, the freshman is lucky that didn't get picked off. And it's second down and goal now for this offense. From the shotgun, drops back. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. So the low place right at the 50. The offense looking to pick up the first down here on third and short. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing. On the and the Hawkeyes' offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to flip something together on this drive. Looking a little more urgent. Oh, and he's in the clear down the left side. Can they catch him? Crosses the 10. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So here we go, the first play of the drive, less than a minute to play before halftime. Back to pass, it's Banks. Oh, the quick throw falls incomplete. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, and hands, sometimes a little questionable as we saw here and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. To the whole place right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and 10. Bringing pressure, and a sophomore making an impact play. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. They look to throw it here on second down. Pulls it in, it's Anderson. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. These games, they... Got it. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. The game is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Ready up. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. Running back grabs it on the screen. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. The first and ten play coming up for the offense. To throw, it's Banks. He makes the grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, we saw a lot of this in the first half. They go right back to him again. We can see the second half, that same trend continuing. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm rolling my coverage. Get a corner up in his face and put a safety back behind him. Some kind of double coverage to slow this guy down. Offense facing a second and ten. And the 
quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The Hawkeyes come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Takes the handoff. It's Williams. And that's a solid gain before the defense is able to bring him down. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Touchdown, Iowa. That puts him on top in the second half. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability... Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. And the defense come up with answers this time. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. Incomplete. Second down coming out. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Comes up with the catch. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. We'll give it to the back. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. They'll work the clock here with the running game. He breaks free. They finally make the tackle, but the big game moves the ball across midfield to the 47. And the Hawkeyes pick up enough yards to move the sticks. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. Most offensive coaches, they're going to be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man. But I'm curious to see if they're going to test this defensive back again because of the excellent coverage he's having out there. Inside the 35-yard line. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. Looking downfield, it's Banks. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Here we are, late in a close game. Three short play coming up, third and long. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. And it's intercepted, a crushing play. And they tackle him right there, but that's a turnover. Well, a risky call by the offensive court. The defense with more pre-snap movement. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. Because that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Second down and goal, upcoming. Looking to score, they'll run it to the right side. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Well, Chris, they come up short in the goal line here, but they've got to still... Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance.